Hi, welcome to The Summer Home. I'm Carrie. Today is all about how to style a king size bed like a pro. Have you ever seen a magazine worthy bedroom and wondered how on earth do they make the bed look so inviting? Well, friends, the secret is out and I'm going to walk you through the five simple steps in today's video. But before we get to the five steps, I wanted to walk you through exactly what I ordered for this layered bedding look. I wanted to show you guys a bedding look on the affordable side. So everything I'm using today is from Amazon. And for this look, I ordered a new waffle weave bed blanket. I have a higher end version of this blanket and I've used them both. And I do think that this blanket is a great option if you are wanting to save some money. I also ordered this three piece quilt set, which by the way, I'm completely obsessed with. The king size comes with two king shams and the set is definitely giving Pottery Barn vibes and looks far more expensive than it is. The next piece I ordered was this duvet cover, which is a great affordable basic white option that you can dress up with color or pair it with neutrals. I also ordered some new throw pillows. These pretty navy pillows are super affordable and like the quilt set will definitely give you a designer look for less and they're kitty approved. Lastly, this cutie 20 inch pillow cover is going to be perfect. I will put a link in the description below so you can shop for all of these pieces that you'll be seeing in the video. Okay friends, let's get started. The first step to layering a bed like a pro is the sheet set. Your sheets are the foundation of comfort and style, so opt for high quality breathable fabric that suits your sleeping preference. It could be a bamboo set, a buttery breathable softer with every wash set, or a luxury linen set. On our king size bed, we have this sheet set that includes a fitted sheet, flat sheet, and two shams. All right, on to step two, which is adding a bed blanket. So bed blankets not only add an extra layer of warmth to your bed, but they also introduce texture and color to your bedroom decor. I chose to go with a waffle weave blanket in white for this look, but no need for you to stick with white. The bed blanket that I'm using comes in a variety of colors. No exaggeration, it is available in over 20 colors. Everything from white to neutrals to greens, blues, grays, pinks, and more. It's a great way to add a bit of color to your bed without committing to a larger piece like the duvet cover. It also has an option of coming as a set, which I love. But even if you are gonna go for white or a different neutral, add one with some texture, which will add dimension to the overall look. And here's a tip. Introduce different textures and colors through your bed blankets to create completely different looks depending on the season. All right, now that we have placed our bed blanket, it is time for step three, which is to add a duvet cover and insert. So duvet covers and inserts are super important part of your layered bedding look. The duvet cover can showcase your bedroom's design aesthetic while the duvet insert brings the cozy warmth. And together they create a versatile combo, letting you easily switch up your bedroom vibe. For this look, I wanted a classic look, so I went with a crisp white duvet cover. But this is a fun spot to use color if that's your thing. I love this duvet cover because it has both interior ties and a zipper. And here's an unpopular opinion, friends. I don't like the ties inside and I don't use them. I feel like it pulls on the insert and makes the cover pucker up, which I don't love. But I wanted to mention that it does have the ties in case that is a feature you are looking for. And here's where we lose the kitty into the cozy bedding. This is her favorite spot to sleep. And a quick side note, if you are new to my content, you may not be familiar with the kitty. She's impossible to keep out of videos, so you will see her popping in and out occasionally. Her name is Jazz Penelope Summer if you wanted to say hi. Okay, back to the bed making. And for the insert, you can double up and use two inserts for a fluffier look or splurge on one really good insert. And here's a tip. Fold the comforter in half at the base of the bed with the fold towards the bottom of the bed. Next, take the top portion of the comforter and fold it back towards the headboard. This creates the folded look that I have in our primary bedroom. And it not only gives you a high-end layered look, but it is also super convenient for sleeping. If you get cold, you just simply pull the duvet cover up. All right, we are on to step four, which is to layer a quilt or blanket at the bottom of the bed. If you ask me, layering a quilt is the secret to achieving that magazine-worthy bed. For this bedding look, I wanted a soft, solid colored quilt for the foundation. 
I take the quilt and I fold it in half and then in half again. And then it's the perfect size to drape at the foot of the bed. This layering approach guarantees both warmth and a focal point. I mentioned this before, but this quilt set is an amazing value. It comes in a bunch of different colors and it comes with these two shams, all for an affordable price. After layering the quilt at the bottom of the bed, this is where you will use the folding method I just talked about. So you start with the duvet folded in half with the open end towards the footboard of the bed. You then grab the top layer and fold that back up in half again towards the headboard. Okay, we are on to step five, which is adding in the pillows. There are literally hundreds of different combinations and ways you can do this part. But for this video, I'm going to show you two different options. Both start with the sleeping pillows. We prefer standard sleeping pillows, so that is what I'm using here. But if you have king pillows, great. So after placing the sleeping pillows, I place two king shams in front. These are the pretty shams that come with the quilt. And if you are all about a simpler look, here's where you can add one 20 inch throw pillow in front of the king shams and be done. It gives you a pretty and classic look. But if you are like me and more is more when it comes to pillows on a bed, we are going to add some more. So back to the spot where we added the king shams. In front of them, we are going to add three Euro pillows. So these pillows obviously look pretty styled on a bed, but they also serve a purpose. These are the pillows we use behind our backs when reading in bed each night. So we are definitely team Euro pillow. Again, for this bedding look, I wanted a neutral base. So I went with these pretty cream pillows, but you could definitely use color here. These shams have a pretty edging detail, which makes them look far more expensive than they are. After we add the three Euro pillows, it's time to add some color. Our rug in this room has pretty blues and I wanted to bring some of that to this bedding look. So I went with these pretty navy pillow covers. I used two 24 inch pillows here. And again, with the theme of adding texture, these pillows have a great texture to them, which just adds one more element of interest. And lastly, I'm adding a 20 inch decorative pillow in front of the blue pillows. And here's a tip, my friends, size up the inserts. For a 20 inch pillow cover, I will buy a 22 inch insert. This ensures that your pillows look nice and full. I will put a link below to the pillow inserts I used for this bedding look, but I have another tip for you. When you receive the pillows, they are vacuum packed to save on space and shipping costs. Once you open up the package, the pillows will start to expand, but to quicken the process, throw them in the dryer for a few minutes on air fluff and they will come out super fluffy. And when they are super fluffy to get them inside of the insert, I have found the best way is to karate chop them in half and put the insert inside the pillow cover, fold it in half. From there, it is much easier to get each corner of the insert to its corner of the pillow cover. And then you have a perfectly fluffy pillow sure to elevate your bed. All right, let's address a few questions I seem to get a lot after sharing bedding videos. The first is, don't you get hot with all of those layers? And my answer is this, if you layer your bedding properly, you will not get hot. In the warmer months, we sleep with just the duvet and quilt folded at the end of the bed and only pull it up if we end up getting cold. So really we are only sleeping with a top sheet and a light bed blanket. The next question I get a lot is what do you do with all of these pillows at night? So we stack them on a chair, ottoman, or the floor, depending on who is removing them. I timed myself and it took me exactly 20 seconds to remove the pillows and two minutes to make the bed in the morning. So those numbers are totally worth the pillows for me. But if the extra pillows aren't for you, go with this simpler look that I shared earlier. Okay, let's quickly recap the five simple steps we took to make this pretty bed. First, we started with a nice sheet set that suits your sleeping style. Next, we're gonna layer a bed blanket with texture on top of the sheet set. The third step was adding the fluffy duvet cover and insert. Fourth, we layered a quilt at the end of the bed. And last, we added our pillows. As always, I will be linking everything that I used in the video below in the description. And if you have questions, I love hearing from you guys, so leave them in the comments. And that's it, my friends. I told you it was simple, just five easy steps. So if you liked this video and found it helpful, I would love for you to subscribe to my channel. 
Thanks for watching guys. Until next time, happy bed making.